magic because there's dark and you were more focused on gathering bodies. So yeah, they arrived and appeared near you. Uh, they came from the south, west, south, something like that. And I also didn't just randomly throw uh, Adam's body somewhere. I do have a plan for it to okay. make it not decompose. Kind of, mm. technically. I mean, you, got that. I mean you, you really need like a few more, like there's not enough time passed for his body to decompose, so for now not yeah, worries. We're in the freezing north, it takes a while for bodies to decompose. I am going to be getting rid of all of its flesh tomorrow. Oh Wait, no. What? And then, I'll bring all the flesh back when we, re when we raise him. But that way so his body doesn't decompose. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm guessing that's your character way to do things. Yeah, decompose I... corpse and restore corpse. Uh, okay, I mean, that's the thought of the Mari, like, that's her way of dealing with bodies. Because it might be a while before we can get him to someone that can raise him. Okay. But if those people do have teleport scrolls, I won't have to do that. Mm, yeah, but yeah, like they arrive. Like Ramus, of course, looks after like uh, like Genkiro, Genkiro. Huh? What? Oh, it's you. Oh, it's so good that we are okay. Like she runs up to you, like she hugs you, and they basically like uh, yeah. For now, hugs you. Like, what do you do? Do you react at, at all that? Um, Genkiro's hands is still shaking from every all the fighting and uh, all the bloodshed. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to uh, just hug uh, the female adventurers and uh, just okay, just sigh and go back to work. Uh, so, yeah, like she says that, well, uh, like she points not to Piper, you know, the undead girl in the party, like after, like she says that they were doing their, their other job, I mean, if you will be interested in that, you might ask later, and basically she felt like a very powerful and dreadful and that presence nearby that was moving in the area so they went here to check it out and they found you and all that af bloody aftermath of a uh, battle like uh, well, do you want us to help yes please mm. there is some terrible things in the caves that need to be thrown on that burning pile of bodies. I mean, like, if, like, Veneta just huffs and, like, she starts, like, helping with gathering the bodies on the outside, uh, while, like, Piper, like, you know, she does the thing, like, she takes, uh, crosses her hands on her chest, and she says, uh, well, I ain't, I ain't touching the bodies. Because you paranoid folk who think that I raised them as a dead, so I'm, I'm staying out of, out of near them. Mm -hmm. Actually, keeping her distance. Uh, as you say that there are bodies in the caves that ne need burning, like Astrid, the cleric from battle cleric from the, from this group, she like notes. She nods and says that, yes, like, because they, they know that there was something undead here. So they don't want, they suffered enough, no matter if they were bad people or good. But they won't suffer the fate of being raised from the dead. And yeah, Astrid as a cleric will help putting the souls of the giants for eternal, eternal rest. rest. What alignment were they? Uh, evil. Cha chaotic evil? Uh, Frozen? Yeah. Uh, 
technically speaking, yeah, the site says that they are chaotic evil because they are rather unpleasant. Uh... Have fun in the abyss, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, something like that. Uh, okay, so as this goes on, you venture f further into the caves and two things uh, first of all um, those who venture into the caves uh, you can give me a will save oh god right I head inside it's not a trap it's not a spell it's something else it's merely the horror of what's inside uh, well, hopefully good enough. <laughs> Genkiro totally <laughs> makes this. <laughs> Presumably you just go into shock and that's why you got so good to save. Yeah. Mm. Uh, basically, even if you uh, like... Uh, the smell is not a problem. Of course, the smell is still here, but you learned very quickly to ignore it. But as you move inside, you see like the ice walls of the caves like splattered in blood, the uh, parts of the bodies of the frost giants. And because it's a night, first of all, it's a night. Second, uh, there is like, as, a, apart from your breaths and like occasional like uh, howling of the wind from the outside, there's a silence. But then, uh, then, all of you, but it's it makes a bigger impact on Otiros and Mari. Uh, oh wait, does uh, all of you can speak uh, giant? No, only Zack. Only Zack can speak giant. Only Mari. Well, same thing. Okay, so it. maybe Genki like passes because he. Because what happens is that uh, like you venture inside and you start getting bodies, like you hear. Something like a ghost, ghost howling, like you fail us, you fail us, we died because of you, and you know all the typical stuff that you don't, you are not sure if this is your imagination or if this, uh, or maybe if ni the nightshade guy left a surprise for you, or maybe, or maybe because the. Uh, wait, the murder here, the bloodshed was so strong that basically it created a hound? Or maybe it's hound in making. Uh, if you don't know out of character, hound is basically another type of uh, trap, but that deals with like, you know, paranormal stuff, like, you know, the blood, sp blood spilling on the walls from nowhere, the ghost sound. I cast Detect Undead. Hmm. That's a good idea. Well, they are not undead per se, but... Haunts register is undead. Do they? Yeah, okay. So the thing is, yeah, there's definitely either hound or hound in making. I'm not... I, I as a DM, I'm not sure how do I want to put that, but... Fair enough. Basically, basically, if this is left for a week, like, if this is left unattained... Yeah, this case will turn into like a hound, simple as that. That. What kind of check would it be to see how to stop it from forming again? Uh, religion, I guess. Okay. Gonna roll. Da -da -da. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, I already have explanation for that. Okay, basically, uh, also, it takes, uh, because I'm gonna say that the initial save was only passed by Genkiro, and, like, you, you are not scared, but for a moment, like, you t take a stop, like, for a very long minute, like, you look around with, like, tight gri grips on your weapons, that you are wondering if somebody is gonna attack you, but basically... Okay, so um, 
Mar, you only know that basically this because of the the atrocious like bloodshed that was committed here. That even if those guys were chaotic evil, you also find like you know parts and the bodies of non-combatants, meaning children mm -hmm. and mothers. So I don't know how what's the stance of uh, Mari on that. If those folks also like if like does she feel that they that the uh, wait what's the word in English that they deserve death or not? Probably not. Well, okay. the giants uh, outside probably didn't either. either. So basically, uh, you only know that basically this this bloodshed like made that in time this place will be treated as a unhollow ground, meaning like you know the uh, profane, some like yep, not sacred ground, like co complete opposite of that. I also have a way to counter that. It'll take a while, but I'm going to do it. So yeah. And yeah, uh, and Otiros and Ginkiro, you know that you immediately know that one of the ways to immediately counter that is like make a hollow spell. All right. Hmm. Like hollow spell, or like hollow spell is the one way. Uh, Second is uh, like if you if you want to just to seal this place, it would just need you for you to like spill a line of uh, holy water at the entrance, so that no evil that um, might form inside will come out ever. Can't I just, you know, take out the bodies, uh, like, put, like, a sign of whatever god I'm in here and just, you know, put holy water and hopes, you know, with all the dead things gone, it will disappear? Or is it just to have to get a hello spell? Uh, hmm. Like, if you take the bodies, sure, they there is no chance that they will ever raise as the dead or be, or, like, there won't be a swarm of ghosts in the caves. But still, the act was committed, so... Mm. Uh, I can just cast the hollow spell. It'll take uh, a day to cast, but like I said, you're going to take a few days to recover. Yeah. I'm just going to dispel lesser restoration on myself. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh... Before I tell you the second thing that you might find in the cave, uh, like, let's just say it's after midnight, Howling Wind still goes through the frozen plains, frozen wasteland, and uh, I'm gonna say that for a moment you went out, and basically the the film adventure group, especially Graham, is like, ask, like they, they of course finally see that uh, one of your party members is dead, meaning Lys Lysander, and they like ask if they can help with it. Like they say that, like they look at Astrid, then at Ramus, and they just shake their heads because they don't have means to resurrect people yet, I think. Oh, I'm gonna check that. The closest that we have to resurrecting is reincarnate and breath of life. Breath of life can only do it the round after, and we all know what reincarnate does. Yep. Uh, what's the per, uh, spell level of resurrection? Uh, da -da. For what class? Uh, for cleric. Because she's... Uh, it is... Because she's level 12. 7th. Okay, so... So that'd be level 14. No, so she's not that high level character. So, okay, so like... So they say they don't have ways, so they ask you like if you know somebody that has means to bring somebody from... Bring back to life again. I don't. Up, mate. 
Yes, you do. You know, you know about Leoria. She, they asking about oh, yeah. that. Oh, uh, yeah. Her. There's someone in Pinewood that could help us with that. Pope Leoria. She owes us a favor. <laughs> or two. Or five. Hell, they are all towns. Okay. So, mainly Remus asks, like, because she has some scrolls of teleportation, she asks, like, if they want, like, they can, they, right now, they, like, they are not adventuring because they have some pretty nasty stuff to deal with previously, like, they, before and today, like, today, uh, you know, several hours before, as, as you were battling, they were doing some other stuff. Right. Uh, so, yeah, they basically ask, like, do you, like, do you want to only help with transportation, or like, as you do stuff here, they will take him to Pinewood to bring him, bring him back to life? That would work as well. And while you're down there, could you get ingredients for a hollow spell? Like, for for okay, for a second, like Ramus is like, hmm. Like she looks at uh, Piper, and yeah, Piper. Like she looks, Piper. Meanwhile, like looks at the at the uh, entrance of the cave with this gas, and she, in quick words, like explains to Ramus why the, why you need that, and she likes. Okay, sure. Yeah, we we will get that. Thank you kindly. Okay, so as Lisander is back, so I'm gonna cut the section for him. So the thing is that. Uh, uh, okay, not the entire party of the Human Adventures goes with him. Like, Ramus and... No, 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 maybe not Ramus. Uh, Ramus gives... No, sorry, yeah. Ramus, Astrid... Yeah, Ramus and Astrid, like, take Lysander's body. And after a moment, they... Uh, would they wouldn't they take uh, Sensa and uh, the Falcon or the uh, Griffin too? Uh... They only, I mean, for now they only ask about, uh, they offered help for Lysander. I plan on handling his answer myself. Alright. Sorry about that, uh, dad wanted something. Yeah, no problem. Alright, uh, what was that you're saying? Uh, that... Like, Mari said that he's planning to, like, bring back Zensa by his own means, and the Ramus and Astrid, like, only offered, you know, to... Because they mainly focus on Lysander. Alright. Fine. First things first, bring Lysander to Pope Leoria. Stat. Okay, will do. So, after a few seconds of casting the spell, like, Astrid... Ramus with Lysander's body uh, disappear, and I'm gonna and basically uh, as they arrive. No wait, sorry, I'm gonna explain it like that uh, in different way. Uh, uh, Lysander, mm -hmm. uh, as you slowly wake up. You realize two things. Yeah. First, that you are staring at somewhat familiar ceiling. A somewhat familiar meaning that you are probably back at the Basilica of Pinewood. Mm -hmm. Second, you you don't think you've met uh, death in the afterlife. You know, there was no episode of meeting no. with the death, so you you are you are not you are not sure what that means. I will leave the decision to you. Uh, right next to you, you see a sleepy looking, you know, bugs under the eyes, ruffled hair, uh, Loria, and that's like she pretty obviously like she just finished casting the spell and she's prepared to cast another one on you. And uh, on the other side, you see, and I think, yeah, you've met them, so you know who, who they are. 
you see uh, figures of uh, Ramus and Astrid. Ah. And it's a familiar room from the architectural style from the Basilica, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, somewhat in the underground of Basilica or something like that. But yeah, you... You know, after a few moments, you <coughs> you realize where you are. Well, <clears throat> it's warmer than it was. Okay. Yes, it is. It is and warmer. people are not a giant damn dragon very down. So, thank you. I'm going to assume I'm going to say thank you to somebody here because this. Is not the situation that I last remembered. Hello. Did you get him, by the way? That, that bastard who was going to get me. Uh, like, like, Loria looks at you like she's not sure about what you're talking about. Like, she looks at Astrid and Ramus. They also, like, shrug. Uh, I mean... Like Ramus talks, like, could you explain, like, after, uh, when we arrived, like, the battle was pretty much over and there was bodies all around. Mm. Well, not enough bodies on their side. <clears throat> Do I have to go back and finish them off? Uh, wait, you mean the Frost Giants? Everything, every damn thing. I'm going to turn it into tropical area, that damn place, and then nuke it from orbit. Uh, you feel like the hand of Leoria, like, uh, appearing on your, like, she puts a hand on your shoulder and she, like, says in a somewhat calming voice that, uh, don't, like, ex like, I, I feel that you're angry, like, <laughs> not, like, I guess you only, like, you know, the typical psychology stuff that, yes, you are angry, but... That one change and I think yada 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 all that stuff because I'm not mm -hmm. I don't even know how to role play that. Not sure. And Don't uh, be angry. <laughs> that's my secret. I'm always angry. Anyways, uh, uh like it's just that you say don't get angry and other things, but in my experience, um violence is the answer. <laughs> It's worked every single time <laughs> so far. Yeah, it's something oh, like uh, apply for like uh, if something if there's a problem apply force if that doesn't work apply more force. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, anyways, I am aching and I'm tired. I've been bitten and frozen and. Uh, oh. As you say that, I mean, I'm guessing you might say that like mumble under the breath and Astra like just think we said, well, it could be worse. You could be turned into undead. <laughs> God, yes. Yeah, I because do. you Thanks. don't remember that because you went down before no, no, they arrived. I don't, I, uh, the last thing he remembers is um, the ancient white bearing down on him. Yes. So, yeah, they, like, do you, like, do you want to hear the explanation? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, but, but, I, mean I, I kind of, I know bits, obviously, but I, you, you, no, you don't need to, you don't need to do, do that, Any, unless you want to say okay, something about Okay, so, yeah, mainly Astrid, because she's a cleric, specialist on undead, so, yeah, she explains that one of her members, like, felt a huge undead, like, power yeah, force sure. bearing down near you, mm -hmm. and from what they gathered and talk with the rest of your friends in the party, mm -hmm. uh, there was some undead guy with his army that uh, took some oh. bodies from battle. Right, and speaking of those guys, where are they? Are they well? They are, are they back at the battle site. They are dealing with the bodies alive? and burning them. As far as you know, are all three alive? Yes, they are alive. Excellent, I'm very glad to hear it. Well, it could be worse, and you guys are alive. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to sleep. I feel awful. Yes, we we all had long days, so we. If you need transportation, we have. I, I have, like Ray Mister says, that I have teleportation spells to bring yeah. you back to your yes, friends. Yes, so, sure. I mean, I will, I'll have to uh, get uh, myself rested and restored, and then go back to help my people. Okay, uh, like. Pop, like, she just waves her hand, like, if you want to sleep here, no problem, there's still tavern in town if you want, whatever, mm. so it's it's your choice. 
Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna like. check, ch chill out and stuff because I'm assuming he's feeling fairly ill. Yeah, well, f tiring battle, getting almost shred to pieces by dragon, and then resurrected mm. again. So yeah, sleep might be a good idea. Mm -hmm. And besides, you sleep when you're dead. <laughs> It doesn't work if you come back. Yeah, Fair. like the feeling of coldness, the darkness burning on you. The no, that's all fine. You really feel fine. It's the coming back that hurts. The feeling of dreadful end. Anyways, okay, so you will sleep for the rest of the night and join them. Join the rest of the party in the morning. Mm. Uh, and you know what? Uh, because they offer that, uh, also Ramis and Astrid won't return. Like, they they will return with him, uh, like, during the morning. Okay, cool, that's great. Uh, well, I don't, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh... So now the question is because uh, <coughs> uh, to, 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 to. Mm. wait I need to think how much how much longer will it will take away besides hunts people. and bodies what else do we find in the cave <laughs> oh yeah that was that was the other thing that I that I wanted to say uh, <coughs> There is one place that, you know, the, all of the caves look like um. On the other hand, I just wanted to do that after, like, Lysander arrives, but, well... <laughs> Anyways, um, you find a uh, very solid... Very solid with, uh, like... Uh, okay, maybe not inscription, I need to, I need to think about it because I, I, will, I didn't prepare that beforehand. But yeah, uh, like there's, you know, the caves are looking natural, but this side with a large uh, door without knobs uh, that is built like inside the wall. Yeah, they are, they are door, doors closed. Uh, maybe near them you might see like there were several bodies that people tried to, giants tried to claw their way inside to escape from death and whatnot. So. Yeah, also not another pretty thing, but yeah, aside from the closed doors that they l go who knows where, there is nothing much, living quarters, all that stuff. How big are these doors? They are large. I asked whether I have pushed them open. Oh dear. Uh, I suppose I do that I then. have uh, detect secret doors. Well, they are not exactly secret, because you see them. <laughs> They're actually fake doors? <laughs> no, they are doors. But uh, as you, like, without roll, like, as Otios tries to, like, push them, they won't budge. Mm. Do I feel it like they're pushed backward or are they completely closed? Like, it doesn't matter how much I push. Try, like, try pulling. There yeah, are no works. knobs. No knobs. It's like a you you. It's more of an intuition thing that these are the doors because they they look differently than the rest. But and they also have some sort of uh, not magic runes, but maybe they have something like you know the sculpture all sculptures on them, something like that. Hmm. All right. Can I? Uh... Make a knowledge. Uh, a knowledge, a knowledge check. check about the a knowledge arcana about the, these kinds of doors. Uh, if they are magical in yeah, nature. Sure, why not? Well, I, c I also just cast detect magic. <laughs> yeah, you'll feel some magic from them. Right. Okay. Um. 
Mari, hand me some of that Jotun blood. Okay, pass him some of it. Alright. I'm gonna dab my thumb in the blood and try to smear some on the door. See if that uh, does anything. Mm okay. Uh, so, as you smear them on the door, uh, like, you see, like, after a second, the blood just, uh, not sprays around, like, move, absorbed. move up, like, when, when, where there were inscriptions, like, or, like, empty places, and uh, I don't know how to... Hollowed it. out, hollowed out places. <clears throat> carved out. Uh, or maybe carved out places, like, for a, for Indentions. a, for a ward. <laughs> So, yeah, they move, like, uh, some of the magic runes, inscriptions, they turn to reddish, red color. And as you look closely, after doing that, uh, uh, they, they, um, ah, shit. Uh, they formed a ward, ward in giant. What to say? Hmm, now I need to think about it. To sound pretty <laughs> ominous. Uh... Get out! <laughs> mm, nah. No, 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 because you use Jotun blood. Mm. Yeah, you, you didn't think I forgot about that. No, 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 no. It's probably worse because you used Jotun blood and now you pissed someone off. <laughs> well, you remember that, uh, first of all, the tribe of the female Yara was called Roaring Dragon. Second, she was pretty explicitly uh, adamant about that, that they cannot go get inside the caverns. That's what I've been looking for, so I figure it's this. Okay, so... Uh, So I'm gonna put it that way that uh, that the word like in giant that's only one word, but if you like it's very specific. So if you translate it to a more common one, uh, should whisper it to me for fun. <laughs> uh, probably. <laughs> And also, as you, as I whisper to you, uh, there is a slight shaking, like an earthquake that goes for uh, two or three seconds. As like you did just, that. Like just that. a small shaking, or is it like something serious? No, no, it's like a... and then stops, like nothing too mm. serious, but something happened. Alright, does the door open or not? And the door sto slowly starts uh, opening. Mm -hmm. So, my intuition was correct. Manzai. Mm -hmm. uh, Mari, uh, you know okay. giantish, right? Mm -hmm. Indeed. What's that word that's uh, glowing? Give me a sec, I'm still thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, I don't know yet. Okay, so maybe right. it won't be one word. Uh, wait, literal translation of that. Uh, well, if you want me to. Okay, uh, it will go something like that. That's the translation for common, what that means. Give me back that Jotun blood. Hmm? Give me All back right. that Jotun yeah. blood. I, I hand him back the Jotun blood. And I walk through the door. I so, suppose we um, follow. I would like to make some sort of knowledge check to figure out how to use this Jotun blood effectively. 
Did I just drink it or something? Okay. Well, technically speaking, all of you should uh, drink it if you want to go to the north.